The invention of the calotype by English scientist and innovator William Henry Fox Talbot was an important milestone in the development of the emerging medium of photography. In Talbot's groundbreaking process, a fine writing paper was made light-sensitive with chemical solutions, placed in a camera and then exposed to create a negative from which an unlimited number of positive prints could be produced. With this, he invented the very first photographic negative process, which remained the foundation of photography until the digital age. This is visual independence. William Henry Fox Talbot, mathematician, physicist, botanist, archaeologist, linguist, and optician, was a polymath who made significant contributions to a range of fields, such as mathematics, astronomy, archaeology, and photography. He was fascinated by the representation of reality, but could not articulate himself through drawing. Previously, he had tried to depict landscapes with the help of a light chamber. In the 1830s at Lackock Abbey, frustrated with his poor skills as a draftsman, Talbot turned to science and began his early experiments to create and fix accurate images through chemicals. Knowledge already existed that silver in combination with salts was sensitive to light. By coating ordinary writing paper alternately with common salt and silver nitrate, he embedded light-sensitive silver chloride in the fibers of the sheet. This combination of chemicals caused the paper to darken in the sunlight. To create the image, a leaf was placed on a blank sheet of paper, coated with the homemade chemical solution, and subjected to sunlight. This darkened the delicate paper surrounding the plant, effectively acting like a mask and preventing the underlying area from obscuring, creating a photographic silhouette. In this way, an inverted impression of the motif was formed on the paper. The resulting traces and shadows were termed photogenic drawings. Talbot put this method into practice with homemade cameras. He continued his experiments by increasing the sensitivity of coating paper with a mixture of silver and potassium iodide, to the point where his cameras were able to produce viable negatives. The light reflected from a subject entered the camera through a lens and created an image on the coated sheet of paper. As with photogenic drawings, light and dark areas were registered in reverse on the paper, creating a negative. The resulting image was then developed using gallic acid, which darkened the areas of the paper that had been exposed to light. The final step was to fix the image by washing it with a solution of potassium iodide, which removed any remaining light-sensitive silver components and made the photograph permanent. In 1835, William Henry Fox Talbot had produced his first camera negative, the calotype, also known as the Talbotype. By placing a negative on another blank sheet of sensitized paper and exposing both to the sun, Talbot observed that the dark areas of the negative blocked the sunlight. While the white areas allowed the light to pass through, they allowed the light-sensitive chemicals to react and create a latent image. The final step was to develop the photograph, by washing it in a solution of silver nitrate, which made the latent image visible. This process enabled Talbot to create multiple positive paper prints from a single negative, greatly increasing the potential for photographic reproduction and making it possible to create photographic prints in large quantities. With this, Talbot had invented the breakthrough negative positive process. For the first time, multiple prints could be made from a single negative. In 1841 Talbot patented the calotype process, the direct forerunner of the negative to positive process that is still used in conventional darkroom photography today. In the few years he devoted to photography, Talbot created masterly photographs through the calotype process. The Pencil of Nature, published between June 1844 and April 1846, was the first commercially available book illustrated with photographs. As such, it is not only a milestone in the history of photography but also in the way we see our world. A true gentleman scientist of the Victorian period, William Henry Fox Talbot combined his knowledge of chemistry, mathematics, and optics, with his interest in art, botany, and classics, and became an instrumental pioneer of photography.